you know, I just want to say something, dude. Like, I already saw this shit happen before it even happens, dude. Like, pretty much anything that's gonna happen has happened already. Um, Allah basically told me himself that the Illuminati would be in the picture. And, long story short, like, this journey I'm going on, like, everything that Allah has told me is basically coming true. Um... You know, so long story short, dude, I'm sent from Allah, dude, like, Allah sent me because I'm dedicated to Allah, dude, and, like, nobody else is as dedicated to Allah as I am, dude, and I'm a Muslim, and, like, I'm, like, the best Muslim there ever was, dude. Um, you know, so, like, I'm not afraid of ISIS. Donald Trump is, Hillary Clinton is, dude, but ISIS won't even touch me, dude, because I'm from Allah, dude. Um, you know, I saw, you know, everything, dude. I mean, I, long story short, people, a lot of shit happened to me over the summertime, and, um, you know, I, I basically saw New York City get taken over by the Illuminati, and, um, you know, it's, it's fucked up because, like I said, everything that's gonna happen, I already know what's gonna happen, dudes, and, like, I guess that gives me an upper hand over my opponents because, like, I can see into the future, and they can't. So, like, fuck you guys, dude. Like, <laughs> shady, because I got the upper hand, dude. So, long story short, dude, I guess this is where I prophesize myself, dude. I'm a prophet from Allah. And you guys don't have to like me. And I don't have to like you people either, dude. Um, Allah picked me. I mean, he picked me, dude. So, like, um, you know, I understand. And people that I go up to and I talk to, they're like, wow, dude, you're extremely smart and everything like that, dude. And long story short, I used to be a Christian for one time in my life. And, like, um, I'm just going to give you guys a long story short what happened. I had love in my life. And the love of my life basically walked out of my life and left me completely alone in New York. And, um, I used to have friends that were, that, like, surrounded me and stuff, and, um, everybody went away, and I found myself alone, dude, in New York City, and I had nothing to do, dude, and I had no purpose, and I saw, I went and saw a lot, dude, and when I did that, it took, like, a week or two, but then one day he spoke to me, and I saw him, and I've seen his face too, um, Allah, as in the Muslim God, the God of Islam, I've seen him, like, as if, you know, like the people behind me do, but I believe him. I've seen a lot, dude. So, um, I just want to say this to anybody that doesn't worship Islam, that basically you're worshiping the wrong religion. And, um, you know, I don't, but whatever you do is between you and Allah, dude. It's like, Allah is watching over you guys. And, like, um, you can either piss him off, or you can, like, worship him and, like, make him happy. But, um, you know, long story short, dude, I said I was just wandering New York City like a lost soul. And basically, I was a lost soul. And Allah called on me and said, you know what, Terry, I want you to work for me. And I want you to serve me and dedicate your life to me. And in return, I'm going to take care of you. And you're going to be this world leader. And um, because you were nice, basically. Like, I was nice. And everybody was mean. And everybody kept taking and taking and taking. And I kept giving, 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 you know. And, like, 
So long story short, dudes, like, I'm sent from a lot, dudes. You know, you're not gonna cut my fucking head off. You're not gonna do anything. Because if you do, Allah's gonna fuck with you so hard, people. And you, you can, like, put yourself in Allah's shoes if you want to. But long story short, you'll actually never be in his shoes. Because he's God and you're not. So, like, fuck you, people. <laughs>